Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to the third edition of my tutorial series on DJ Pro 2 for Mac by Algorithm. Today's tutorial will be about how to use Spotify with DJ Pro 2. I just want to mention that in order to use Spotify with DJ Pro 2, you do need a Spotify Premium account. Anyways, let's get started. So first we want to go over to the left right here where the Spotify icon is and click it. And then we want to log in to Spotify. So once this menu comes up, we hit log into Spotify. And then we type in our credentials. Now this little security thing comes up, so we need to find all the vehicles. I hope that's good. Oh. Okay, now we're in. So right now we can see the playlist uh, menu. So this shows all of the playlists that you've either made or that you follow on Spotify, which is pretty cool. Um, to load a track from a playlist, you just go to one of your playlists. So I'll go to the Timmy G playlist, and then I will pick one of the songs. So I'll pick It's Timmy G, and I click and drag onto the deck that you want it to play on, and then it loads the song from Spotify, and then it plays just like a regular song. It's Timmy G. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the playlist features. You can do the filtering just like in, I, in the iTunes. Um, so I'll go over that briefly. If you do want to filter, you can filter songs with different tempos. So let's say I want to do 140 and 150. Then it will show you all the songs that are between 140 and 150 in that playlist. And uh, you can click it off to turn it off. Um, you can also do key filters you can add all sorts of filters album artist bpm date added key and title so if you want to filter out tracks that you're looking for you can do that you can also view the spotify songs um, by their album artwork instead of in the list but i prefer the list anyway moving on from the playlist feature let's go to the uh, browse mode so this lets you browse all sorts of songs um, from Spotify, so the top 100 is the default, so you can look at all the Spotify's top 100. Um, you can look at their features, and then when you click on a menu like this, it goes into all sorts of different playlists, so you can click on any of them, all sorts of songs for the mood. To go back, you just click this little arrow, so you can look at new releases, DJ genres, which could be helpful if you are planning to DJ with Spotify. Um, and then all sorts of things. Uh, I know that this decades playlist is popular if you are doing um, a, an event that has all sorts of different people. You can put on all sorts of different genres and uh, decades of popular music. So anyway, that's the browse mode. And to, to load a track from the browse mode, it's the same as just you just click and drag. And then it will load from the internet and play like a regular track. Okay, the next thing we can do is look over here, and this is the search Spotify function, and this is really cool. So if you have any track that you want to search for that you don't have in your library, you can search for it on Spotify. So I'm going to search Chicken Soup by Skrillex um, and Abstract, and to drag it on to the deck, you, you once again, you just click and drag. So I'm going to do that, and it will load. You can also search for a, an artist or an album rather than just a song title. So let's say that I want to search for Drake. Okay, so I see some Drake songs. I also see artists. Um, I see albums. And I see playlists. So let's say that a song that I'm looking for doesn't show up here. We can click the show all songs. And then all the Drake songs that your search um, results are will pull up. Now notice this little um, explicit marker. So if you are if you are in an event that you cannot play explicit music because there are kids there or for some reason you don't want to play um, songs with swears in them, this explicit marker is uh, the telling tale. Now a lot, there are a lot of clean versions on Spotify. So if, for instance, let's say that we are trying to find uh, the clean version of Jumpman by Drake. 
So usually Spotify has both versions. So this is the explicit version and this is the clean version. So, um, but I would always double check in your headphones before you play it in front of a crowd that would be sensitive to swears. Anyway, so that is the search uh, function of DJ Pro using Spotify. So now let's go on to um, the playlists that you can make in DJ Pro that have a combination of both Spotify tracks and your own tracks from iTunes. So if we go back to our library uh, here, which, are, which shows our playlists, and I'm going to go up here and then go to View and then Split Library. This allows me to see my DJ Pro playlists and my Spotify playlists. So I can drag in, let's say I'll drag in my track, um, The Fight, and I want to drag it into my playlist, Beats. So I'll drag it in, and then it shows up. It also shows the source where it's from. So this is from um, Spotify, but if we see that the 2U, uh, my bootleg of 2U by David Guetta and Justin Bieber, that is not from Spotify. That is from iTunes. So if you want to go to iTunes and add a track from iTunes, let's say I want to add Lululemon 2016 Remaster V2, it'll show that is this file is on the computer and it's not being streamed from Spotify. So if you want to organize a uh, playlist with both Spotify tracks and non-Spotify tracks, you can do that by using this playlist method. So I'm going to get rid of the split library now. Um... And then we will move on to uh, the metadata. I just wanted to mention quickly that the metadata is not editable. You cannot edit the metadata. Um, this is all con controlled by the Spotify database. So whatever it says here goes, even if something's incorrect, um, you can't edit that. Except for the BPM. I'll talk about editing BPM in the grid in a different tutorial. Um, but for instance, keys, I know f for some of my songs that are on Spotify, the key is not correct and you just have to live with that. But anyway, so I also wanted to mention the stream quality. So if you go up to DJ Pro and click preferences and then go to library. So if you go to Spotify right here, the default is, they say it's recommended, but I believe it's 96 kilobits per second which is if you know anything about audio that is not a very high quality um bit rate uh high i believe is 192 kilobits per second and then extreme is 320 kilobits per second i would suggest doing the extreme it's the best quality assuming that you have um, a decent internet connection um, but if you have really spotty internet connection one you shouldn't rely on spotify ever just because it worst case scenario it could um not work for you but but if you have a good internet connection i would suggest doing the extreme the highest quality just so you can be playing the highest quality tracks but um but if you have a low internet connection this quality this is when you can start to tell um that the quality is being reduced so i would definitely suggest keeping it on extreme for quality one last thing that I forgot to show is the match function. So if I go click here and then I go to match, this is uh, the song that's on the deck right now. And then Spotify will give you songs that are similar to this that might mix in well with this track. And if I want to pick any of these tracks, I could load them onto the next deck. I could listen to them before um, this song ends to see if I want to mix them in. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. To log out, you go to library and then go down log out of spotify for timmy g or whoever you are and just click log out and then you are logged out if you want to if you share a computer and you don't want someone else to see your uh login credentials or your playlists or whatever that's fine to do uh the last thing i want to mention is you cannot record a set using spotify tracks so right now i have uh, a spotify track loaded and if I click start new audio recording, it will not let me because it says recording not available while using Spotify. Please load songs from your local media library to create a recording. In a future tutorial, I will go over how to record your sets, even if you are using Spotify tracks, uh, but it will not be through the software. Um, so yeah, be looking forward to that. Other than that, that's about it. If I miss anything, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you like this video or 
if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or video suggestions for the future, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music and DJ performances, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.